On November 25th, 1783, after a grueling seven-year occupation, the last of the British troops and loyalists filed on their ships and left New York City for good. The city was the last occupied stronghold for the British, and the evacuation of the remaining British soldiers marked the end of the Revolutionary War. General Knox and his men secured the city for General Washington, Governor Clinton, and the remaining Continental soldiers to parade down Broadway to the Battery. New York Governor George Clinton organized a celebratory dinner at Francis Tavern that night. On Tuesday, the 4th of December, it was made known to the officers then in New York that General Washington intended to commence his journey on that day. At 12 o'clock, the officers repaired to Francis Tavern in Pearl Street, where General Washington had appointed to meet them and to take his final leave of them. We had been assembled but a few moments when His Excellency entered the room. His emotion, too strong to be concealed, seemed to be reciprocated by every officer present. After partaking of a slight refreshment, an almost breathless silence, the general filled his glass with wine and turning to the officers, he said, With a heart full of love and gratitude, I now take leave of you. I most devoutly wish that your latter days may be as prosperous and happy as your former ones have been glorious and honorable. After the officers had taken a glass of wine, General Washington said, I cannot come to each of you but would be obliged if each of you would come and take me by the hand. General Knox, being nearest to him, turned to the commander-in-chief, who, suffused in tears, was incapable of utterance, but grasped his hand when they embraced each other in silence. In the same affectionate manner, every officer in the room marched up to, kissed, and parted with his general-in-chief, such a scene of sorrow and weeping I had never before witnessed and I hope may never be called upon to witness again. You have my great thanks. But the time of separation had come and waving his hand to his grieving children around him, he left the room and passing through a corps of light infantry who were paraded to receive him, he walked silently on to Whitehall, where a barge was in waiting. We all followed in mournful silence to the wharf, where a prodigious crowd had assembled to witness the departure of the man who, under God, had been the great agent in establishing the glory and independence of these United States.